Hey everyone, so I have decided that I want to let you guys in on a little secret. I am getting a boob job, I'm getting my titties done. Um, this is something I've known I've wanted to do since I was 16. And, you know, like it was one of those where like, you know, all your friends boobs start growing and you're like, well, when am I going to start growing? And they grew, but like, it's like, it almost doesn't count because like, there's so little you know and yeah I was just like you know what when I'm older I'm gonna get my bibs done and last year I was just like you know what am I waiting for let me start saving money and I'm gonna do this you know so last year I started saving up and January this year I started looking up doctors Feb found the perfect doctor for myself and yeah we discussed like you know the size and you know the procedure how it's gonna work the pain all of, like everything that I should expect like coming up um broke it down to my parents in like April April yeah I think it was like April I sat them down and I was just like oh guys you know I really want to get my boobs done they're like okay we know you've been saying this forever and I was just like okay well I've paid a deposit like it's a real thing and then they were shook so shook <laughs> Yeah, but um, they're supportive as much as they don't want me to do it. They understand that I'm just like that kid who always does whatever they want to do. And I've always been like that. Like, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Now I'm going to share the before with you guys. Just so that like when I share the after, you kind of know where I started and where I'm at. So here are my titties at the moment. Let me just move this camera back so we can see the angles. Okay, so this is like a front view, side view, you know. So are you seeing what I'm working with at the moment? <laughs> yeah. So now after this, I'm trying to have a C cup. So yeah. I'm getting my surgery done on Tuesday, so two more days, two more days, and I will have my boobs, but like the healing takes a while, so I'm probably not going to share anything until they're at a more comfortable place, because yeah, it takes about three months for them to settle into your skin, and your muscle kind of needs to kind of sit comfortably around it, because obviously you're putting a foreign object in your body, you know, and when you get them, they're sitting like higher in your chest, they need time to drop, and yeah, it's just the process, um, but one that I think will be worth it for me, you know, like since high school, I've lost 15 kgs, and I was very patient with myself, it took me like two years to lose those 15 kgs, and obviously I also lost some titties I mean my titties weren't much bigger than this but now they're like even smaller um and yeah I just feel like I've been working on myself so much that this for me is just like that final piece to make me feel really comfortable and happy and confident so I'm gonna do it morning it is the morning of my surgery and I'm not ready to go it's 10 past 6 in the morning. I need to be at the hospital at 7. Already I'm packed up. I've got my snacks, got my luggage, got my little whatever you call this damn pillow thing, your travel pillow. I'm gonna be sleeping upright. So I took my continental pillow just to make sure that I'm actually comfortable because yeah. I wanna try and make sure that I'm as comfortable as possible. And I'm excited! Um the nerves haven't kicked in yet. Everyone's been asking me if I'm nervous and nah, I'm excited. I know I want this, so <laughs> there's nothing to be nervous about. Good job. This is girl walking into her ward. Ward C. Getting admitted. surgery I got out like what time is it now 
I just remember when I woke up, I looked at the clock, it was 12 o'clock, yeah, and I, yeah, now I'm, my eyes are more open, but, um, from what I've seen, they look cute, um, yeah, I'm quite excited to see them, like, see them properly, but yeah, I did it, guys, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, and yeah, I'm super, super excited about this. Finally, I'm back at my apartment and now I can be looked after from here. Propped up my pillows nicely, got my remotes next to me, my laptop next to me, and I'm gonna be a couch potato now. Dino came to visit and he hooked the girl up with some Netflix. I didn't understand why she can't, didn't have Netflix. That's yeah like why you he's mad that my lawn is not green right now i'm i'm just trying to be eco-friendly you know now he's you're like what i'm trying to be you know environmentally friendly yeah so it's winter can you water it in the day no you're supposed to water it at night no it's winter the water will freeze so the first of all i don't know what was happening with my hose pipe now it's working again but Oh, oh wow, really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what if I do? So it has now been four days since my operation, and I'm going back to see Dr. Duca. It is driving me. Yo, yo, yo. Um, I'm gonna go get my handbag removed. This, uh, my drain that's been carrying all the excess blood so I'm so excited to not have this piece of whatever you want to call it attached to me all day imagine how day. people who like have catheters and like pee bags and yeah, pee bags hey. attach them all the time sure I can't I'm like four days with this thing like it's just so much admin like you have to wear clothes with pockets big enough to hide that shit like not fun it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot yeah so exciting so exciting then i still have my bandages on so i cut the next step after that would be waiting for my nine days Day five. Day five and my boobs feel heavy, they feel swollen, they're big, they're took out the drains yesterday and now all that excess fluid has nowhere to go. And it's all sitting on my breasts and I don't know what to do with myself. My boobs hurt. I don't even know how pregnant women do it, like for months on end. It's just a lot right now and I'm going through it. Like your so I just took off my bra. I'm just gonna give myself an hour because I've had a bra on since I got out of surgery and it's not fun. <laughs> not fun. So it's been seven days since my surgery. And I'm also here um, at the surgery. Yeah, so my aunt kidnapped me because she wasn't comfortable with the fact that I was staying alone this week. So I'm moving in. <coughs> For a couple of days to her and my uncle's place. A bird. Home. Yeah. Actually, it's home. It's home, home really. I'm always about. here, like all the time. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Can you help me with my bags? Okay. Okay. What happened at the operation? Um, I just made my boobies bigger. Okay. <laughs> my bags on the back seat. In the back seat. Okay. I have a visitor. Hello, Schnickums. How are you? You come say hi. Can I get a kiss? Tips. Are oh, you mad at me? Can I get a kiss? Bye. 
Ah, uh, you denying me? Wow. Can I get a kiss on the cheek? Ba. Mwah. Thank you. How cute is my man? Hey guys, so it has officially been 13 days since my surgery and I'm really happy with the results so far. I know my in the previous um, little clip I said that we would take off all the bandages, but that wasn't the case. I got there and he said we're just going to take off the top because I came all the way to my decolletage and I couldn't wear anything past my neckline, which was super annoying, but at least now I can. I still have a bandage at the bottom, so I can't show you guys the after in the bikini shot. I'll do that in my next video, but I'll show you what I look like in a sports bra. I have to wear a sports bra for six weeks, so yeah. I also plan on going to the mall tomorrow to get my new bra size after taking off the lower bandage. Uh, so this is my result in a sports bra, as you can see. I told you guys I wouldn't go too big, and I did not. Um, with implants, it ranges anywhere from 190cc to 900cc, and I went for a 210cc. So, yeah, uh, give you guys a little rotation angle. Don't mind my uh, food baby, I've been eating whatever I want for the last two weeks. I'm going back to school today, so I can finally drive again. Super exciting. I'm going to Durban in two weeks because I feel like I spent my entire school holiday recovering. So, a girl needs to see the ocean, yo. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching out my clip and subscribe to our Bodhi channel. Um, there's going to be, you know, episodes where it's just me, Bo. And there's going to be episodes where it's just a date, and then there's going to be episodes where it's the both of us. But if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, I plan on doing um, a follow-up on my progress and obviously the after shot in the same bikini we had at the beginning of this video. So any questions you have, ask away, honey. And I will answer in the next video. Anyway, thanks so much for supporting and watching my video. Kisses. See you next time.